the, the most important way that it shows up in my work is my belief, which I, you know, I, I think is a culturally based belief. I think it comes from being Indian, um, which is the notion that information comes from nature, that it, it's not a construct of the human mind mm -hmm. or the human brain, which may or may not be the same thing. It depends on how the various scholars use the term. In indigenous worldview, the notion is that everything, the land is the source of everything. And, and I, I'm learning to use the term nature as the source of everything because what I'm coming to understand is that the term the land, which means that to me, to a lot of people, means like a piece of ground, and it's about that thick, and that's not what I mean. Um, so if... If nature is the source, in, in, in indigenous worldview, nature is the, is the source. The land gives human beings dreams, language, ritual, dances, music. Mm. It's the source mm. of, of our knowledge. It's the source of our being. In the same way that biology and geology tell us that nature is the source of the molecules that make up our bodies. Right? So, I mean, we're made of molecules that circulate constantly that become parts of the trees and they're flowing around in the air and they get uh, put into um, new limestone deposits in the sea as the rain falls down on them. So we're, we're literally constantly circulating back and forth and we're, we're, we're made of nature. Mm -hmm. And in indigenous worldview, we're made of nature conceptually as well as physically. We're made of nature culturally as well as physically, which is why place is so important in indigenous worldview mm -hmm. because the specific place you're in is going to affect then who you are, exactly. right? Um, but, um, but as a result then, if, 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 that, if, if information, if knowledge, if understanding, if dreams, if art, if drama, if they all come from the same source, they're obviously all the same thing. They're connected. They're manifestations of one single comprehension. Mm -hmm. Well, what that means then is that, of course, the information that's coming through a dream and the information that's coming through a piece of art and the information that's coming through your microscope, they need, they need to agree in some way. And so you need to integrate them to have a full picture of what's going on. It's almost like an ecology of, of, of learning. Mm -hmm. You have to bring what you learn from all these different kinds of information together and integrate them mm -hmm. to have a full picture. And if you, if you don't have some of them, you're not going to have sustainable information because it's so, so much is missing. It's sort of limping on a peg leg. Mm. In the same way that if you have an ecosystem and, you know, the, the, the lake dries up and the grasses die and the trees all die and then because of that there's no more birds. And then what do you have left? You have a very tiny, impoverished kind of ecosystem that really can't function. And the more you lose, the less it can function. Mm -hmm. So, you know, in this kind of view, as you lose uh, being able to understand through art... To, to understand through story, to understand through uh, spiritual experience. You know, as those things drop out, your knowledge of what is, your understanding of it becomes more and more impoverished. We become mm -hmm. more and more crippled. Mm -hmm. And and then as it makes sense as we become more and more crippled, we make worse and worse decisions.